and Asante Kotoko. It is the Super Clash on a Super Sunday in the capital. Yeah, it's a big one. Familiar faces been paraded by coach Samuel Buedu. The only change from that game against the Gun Cities is Frederick Asaboche, who drops to the bench for Emmanuel Nete. Samuel Buedu keeping up with consistency in the squad. No surprise to see the call up. It's a four three three system, as you'd expect. Salif Ibrahim will be the one to play the free role, but keep an eye on Daniel Free Banya. Jerry Ibrahim, he's got space. Heavy first touch, manages to find Fatal down the right. He's got asthma, sends a deep cross in. Patrick Razak said across. Daniel Banya shot is blocked by Daniel. Shouts for a penalty, but no. Yeah, that's the earlier chance there. Once Salifu was bringing in the ball, Topico's defense kept backing off, backing off, and he had the opportunity of picking his captain. The cross to the far post this time is good. And then Patrick Azak, I thought, was also going. And that was a chance for Hats. If only Patrick Azak could have gathered that ball well. A very improved side in the second half. Again, a dink from Salifu looking for Barnier. That's the opener! has broken the deadlock. Hak Savok are up by one nil. Look how important he was for this side. But again, the chance of Foku are looking the better side. The little drink over the top from Salifu to Bani. It's not the first time we've seen it this season. Obi Junior's efforts has blown well by Kanu. But the short is a hope for one. No question marks about offside. But it's a really good finish. It's an incredible finish by Bani. It really is because it's on the half turn. But still does what to generate enough power and puts a bit of spin about the effort. Kwame Barkan now to get a hand to it. But it's a difficult one to keep out into the roof of the net via the goalkeeper. And it's the opener. Daniel Efriye Banya is the man right here. He's the man in form. He's the man who's put hearts of foot running down the channels. It's over! Accra hearts of foot have taken a three-point lead. And it's a glorious Accra hearts of foot one. Asante Kotoko nil. The Accra Sports Stadium is Sunday night football. The league leaders had to walk up against third place Mediama Sporting Club. The top truncated leagues, they were on top of the log. And they're up against Hatsabok, a team who have also not won the league title in the last 11 seasons. They really miss a player when it's Egypt because they've got quality all over the place. That's what, just one change to the team that drew against Great Olympics. The Congolese Radio Buka is away on international duty with Congo. His place is taken by William Denchi and the rest are familiar faces that Samuel would have stuck to in the last couple of games. Yeah, similarly 4-3-3, three, three, front three, Isaac Mensah or Ben Jr. Bani are gonna be playing closely together. As Denchi is the only difference in the side who is coming into it. He would also be holding that left back position. Another partnership between the two centre backs in Moa Hassan and Robert A. Fatal Mohamed. Fatal shoots from that distance. And Obin Jr., lovely footwork. Obin Jr., Bani has shot his blood. Salifu Ibrahim, the third coming. Not really been at it. But now you see that the build up is it's just a hopeful shot coming in for Fatal. Obin Jr. does want to show strength. Get the ball onto his left. Trying to set up Bani, whose effort is blocked. The ball breaks kindly to Salifu. Goalkeeper hasn't really steadied himself at the time. Salif Ibrahim is going to take the strike, as we will see again. Banning shots as well defender because the block comes in from Baba. Hello, pleasant welcome to the Accra Sports Stadium. It's venue for the final game to wrap up with 30 of the Ghana Premier League and it's the Royals. Lego. Very big game. Big players missing in this action as well. You can look away and reach one entry. So, Hatsabok have made three changes to the team that beat Windy Professionals on Sunday. Ibrahim Salifu is in for Emmanuel Nete. And Caleb Amakwa drops to the bench. His place is taken by Mohamed Al Hassan. And then she drops to the bench. His place is taken by Radio Buke. Free year of being Junior Razaga leading the attack for. Samuel Boyd is charging. Wise Fan Ganza, Anaya, here is Daniel Afriya Banya. Now Radio Buka. 
Salifu Ibrahim, brilliant ball to Banye. Obi Junior strike! Good goalkeeper from Sylvester Saki. How many times have you not seen Salif Ibrahim trying to spot Daniel Banye once he made this run? Intelligent run from him, spinning around his man, but it's Salif is ball to think into him that is brilliant. Bani has all the awareness knowing that Obin Jr. is close to him. Just uses his head to push in the boy to his path. And the first time of asking on the folly, Obin Jr. strikes it really hard, but down the middle. Benjamin Afutu to Fatal Mohammed. Now Patrick Razak. Ball onto the path of Daniel Banye. Oh, beautiful work pass. Mensa Banye. Brilliant. Good job, Obin Jr. His ninth goal of the season. Hatsaboka up by 1-0 and all credit will go to Daniel Bani and Freye. Brilliant stuff from Hatsabok. Just magical. Magical. Magical from Bani, really magical. Krasak, take a look at Patrick Krasak here. At this point, he's looking for the run for Bani. Bani is very much onside here. But it's about the calmness, it's about the coolness in his head. Defender commits himself, but you can look at this for a skill. Look at that for a balance, for the presence of mind to just use that little space available to him and then generate or make this goal happen is just world class. It's just brilliance all over from Bani, a player who's in real form now. He left Nicholas Mensah for dead, puts on the place for his strike partner, Obey Jr. And there you have it. It's Daniel Efriye Bani, he's the man. The goal is from Obey Jr. But the man is Daniel Efriye Bani, he is the man. For this game, between the Phobians and Accra Young Boys. The last time the two teams met was in the 2018 FA Cup competition where Hatsabok won by one goal. We are in for Hatsabok. Coach Samuel Bodu has made five changes. Abednego Tete sends a cross. Daniel Banya misses. Providing the, the ball into the box, a very good whip on the ball. Banya gets across this man beautifully, just can't get the ball on target. Again, he's trying to use the same skill Abed Negutete used. Generate the power into the fab. Salifu Ibrahim's corner. And look like a handball. Salifu, that is, it's a, it's a teasing one, really is. Eluding and everybody. Bani gets a little flick on it. And Abed Negutete there. I'm not sure why he's called against him because it's no foul. The pay, but the ball goes to Caleb Amankwa. Lovely pass, good control from Bani. Goes past the keeper. Would this be the opener? Great defending. It's a penalty. The flick by Abednego Tete. Banya does with the skip pass. His man gets the ball around the goalkeeper. Was there contact? I think, yes, there was contact, but there was a coming together between the ball and the man. You see better from here. Yeah, got bits of the ball before he got the man. I think it's a really harsh call. Now, referee whistles. Banya steps forward. Daniel Lefria Banya. He slots it. Has the book up by 1 0 here. At the theater of dreams in Dewu. It's a confident strike. The goalkeeper can't reach it. There's no way he reaches it, even if he gets it right. But it's powerful enough. It's into the corner. And uh, it gives us to fuck the lead. Which I, I think, on the balance of play, they've deserved. But it's one that young wives would think that a call is harsh on them for us to fuck.